Now let's move on to palpation of the psoas muscle. And we want to take great caution when palpating this muscle. Due to its location, this area is very tender. The superior part of the psoas muscle lies underneath all of the abdominal organs. We don't wanna palpate right through the intestines in order to get to the psoas muscle. But there is one part of the psoas that we can palpate that is both more comfortable and carries less risk of irritation or injury to the organs. Before you palpate the psoas, be sure to explain to your client or patient what you're doing. Again, this can be a highly sensitive area and some people can be quite ticklish in this spot too. So be sure to explain what you're doing and why and make sure that they are comfortable and ask them to report to you any pain, tenderness, discomfort, or sensitivity in this area. Standing alongside your patient, palpate the top of the iliac crest and then come forward right into the ASIS. Okay, Jade, I'm going to palpate your psoas muscle here right in the front of your pelvis. Please let me know if you feel any pain, numbness, tingling, or any other uncomfortable symptoms, and I'll stop right away. Now from the front of the ASIS, slide your index and middle finger over the front of the pelvic rim, and we're going to gently follow the edge of the iliac fossa. And gently slide your fingers in, make sure that your client or patient is comfortable. This is the region where the psoas major runs right in front of the iliacus. So we're going to be palpating along the iliacus in the iliac fossa down into where the psoas muscle runs. Run your index and middle fingers right over the front of the ASIS and along the inside of the iliac fossa. Make sure to move slowly and gradually for the most comfort for your client or patient as well as for you to be able to assess the tissues in this area. Now, depending on the size and shape of your patient, you may only need to go in a half inch, maybe an inch, and you may need to sink in quite a bit deeper. Run your fingers in as deep as you can until you feel muscle tissue at the bottom edge of your fingers. Now, to check if you are indeed on the psoas muscle, keep your fingers in place there and ask your client to very gently lift that knee up in the air, about two inches or so. So go ahead and lift up, good, and back down. Okay, you should feel the muscle pop right up into your fingers. And you may need to move around a little bit, more superior or inferior, up or down, or more toward the midline, toward the spine, or back away more toward the edge of the pelvis. Once you know that you're on the psoas, take note of the tone and thickness of the muscle in this area. Also note tension, tightness, or sensitivity to palpation. And you don't wanna to spend too much time palpating this area because it is quite sensitive. After you've palpated enough to have a sense of what's going on with the muscle on this side, then go ahead and slowly bring your fingers back to the surface of the pelvis and repeat on the other side. Once you're finished, take note of any differences you notice between the left and the right side. That might include differences in tone and thickness of the muscle, differences in tension and tightness. And of course, take note of your client's report of tenderness and pain. Now, we may also want to perform strength testing of muscles throughout the pelvic region. It may be helpful to manually muscle test hip flexion, hip extension, internal and external rotation, as well as abduction to get an idea of gross muscle imbalance. It's beyond the scope of this course to go through those individual muscle manual tests. 